Yeah, we're at the Australian Institute of Sport. Let's get it. I'm Cedric. I'm Chapman Davies. Daniel Chadwick. Uh, Anuj. And Ryan. Caden Crawford. Dramona, Dramona. Alfred Mills. Tona. Drew Luffman. Mia. Josh. Fiona. Brooke Hanson. Ty. I'm the change maker. Big day's finally here. Uh, we're heading off to camera today. Just got a few things to do around the house. We're leaving at around 11.30. Um, and yeah, let's go. After getting changed, packing my bag, and taking my dog for a walk at the very place where this whole journey started, it was go time. I then headed off to the airport where I met up with Changemaker staff member Amy. It was really nice and really helped me. Um, she even got some nice clips of me as you'll see here. And then we boarded the plane at around 11. And let me just say the food was good, but the movie I watched was horrendous. And then we arrived in Canberra. All right, so we've just arrived in Canberra, just collecting our bags. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go meet the other change makers. Let's go. The first day was all about getting to know the other change makers. So I didn't get many videos, but there's some here. So I'm currently in the Olympic Village. Uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy, honestly, pretty surreal. Um, and uh, yeah, can't wait to, to see what's ahead. On the first night, we headed into the games room to celebrate one of the change maker Chai's birthday. And let me just say, the speech was a bit awkward. Hey, speech, come on, Dom, come on, Dom. Speech, speech, speech. speech. Well, we've all known Mia for quite a while. Basically, we're up at 4 a.m. Uh, me here with Dom. Yeah, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> That's right, he's Dom. As you'll see, Dom and I struck up a bit of a bromance. He was an absolute lad, a legend, and we had some deep chats. And he even called me up. Absolute crackling bloke. <laughs> Resident champ. Oh, bloody champion. <laughs> Champions wake up before 4 a.m. <laughs> After unsuccessfully trying to get into multiple buildings, we got a little bit bored. So we made up our own fun. You got the wisdom going on here. <laughs> yeah, boys. <laughs> hey, some words of wisdom at 4.30 in the morning. Words of wisdom? All right. You go out there and you chase what you want, even though it's 4.30 a.m. Um, baby Jesus out here hey. vlogging. <laughs> so, I mean, if you can do it, we all can. And we also got a bit paranoid that our unsuccessful key card attempts would get us in trouble with the security. The public order offence of vlogging at full. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> nah, we just we just breaking uh, we breaking all rules, we breaking all all conventions because we ain't conventional. Sheesh. We look different. This boy be slamming poetry, <laughs> waking up early. They don't know what it means. Walking through the streets, it's not as it seems. Oh. The independence and the freedom, it's just something else. Oh, okay. I wouldn't swap it for money or anybody. Oh, he with baby Jesus, strolling in the night. They call him a princess, but I'll say he's a dark night. 
you're not able to understand him. It's quite mysterious. But it doesn't really matter because he's got a aura of... Rhymes oh, yeah. mysterious. No, 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 I can't. I can't Fuck. Really. After slamming some poetry, we explored more of the AIS. And then we try to get into another building. We'll let the noise tell the story. Underway. Yeah. When life throws you hurdles. You throw a hurdle back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Capturing the, the vibes in the morning. Where's a good spot to go? <laughs> yeah. Where do you want to go for, for all that like, footage? Yeah. yeah. Like, go up to the visitor centre. They've got like great statues and stuff. Appreciate this. it. Right, let's check it out. We decided to take up the woman's advice and head to the visitor centre. And on the way there, the words Dom shared with me were incredibly inspiring. If, like, here's the thing about life, right? You try to push back too much, you're gonna end up getting swept away by the waves. Because life's a huge ocean, right? And like this map, <laughs> it is also a huge, huge map. As I was saying, guys, life's a bit like an ocean. When you're poured out into this world, you're you're like filtered into the expectations of society. And like, I guess the filter is, is our expectations as humans. And in doing so, we kind of like adapt to the, to the current of society and we just learn to be like water in that sense. And anyone who tries to resist just gets swept away. But I think the most important part is just knowing that you're human and that you're subject to change and still still like making a difference regardless they say um the escalator to success is closed is out of order but the stairs are always open exactly exactly <laughs> i've never heard someone speak so much facts so. yeah appreciate it brother appreciate it glutinous maximus my boys you see that <laughs> after checking out the statues we decided to head back to the athletes village we thought somebody might be up now that it was later and turns out we were right we bumped into mia and from there, we headed to the Aquatic Centre. All right, who are we here with today? Uh, Daniel I'm... Chadwick. I've grown up in Canberra. Yeah. Been here my whole life, working at the AIS. 206 <laughs> centimetres, six yeah. foot nine. Hitting the gym, <laughs> getting fucking... Oh, getting swole. oh okay. Getting swole, yes, okay. sir. Yeah, okay. Yes, sir, working full time, just bought a place. Enjoying life. Oh, yeah. Enjoying yeah. life. And uh, now for the serious questions. Yeah. It's getting real. Um, it's getting real. Yeah, it is getting real. It's getting real. Uh, uh, who's your celebrity crush? See that one coming. If I say Ryan Reynolds, it's like a little bit gay, uh, but... <laughs> nah, nah, it's all good, it's all good. He's a hottie, eh? Liz Gillies. Liz okay. Gillies. Okay, favourite uh, movie? Favourite movie, ooh. I was a Forrest Gump guy, but I'm gonna say Top Gun. Uh, I'm gonna say Top Gun. Yeah, oh, Top Gun. I'm, 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 I'm a plain guy. Yeah, I love okay. Top Gun too. Great movie. Yeah, and finally, favourite food? Sushi. Good one. Good I'm gonna go sushi. Like Alright, absolute like legend. <laughs> Alright, there's just legends all around legends this Legends all around. Yeah. Yes, sir. And another one right here. Represent. After getting into the aquatic centre, we managed to check out the gym and the volleyball centre before taking a photo. And then it was back to the village for our organised activities. Heads! Wait it! Oh! Hey! Let's go! Let's go! Alright, it's the other way! It's the other way! Let's go! Winner! 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 Yeah! I'm back. Just came back from a few team building games and had some breakfast. Unfortunately, I can't record in there as there are so many Olympians in there, but I literally saw an eight foot tall guy and I'm not even joking, this guy was huge. Um, got to get changed into my Olympic change maker gear and then the real change is going to happen. Oh, lay down the beat. Okay.
After making our way to the gold room, we were introduced to the staff involved and the Olympians, and then we got started with our pitches, but more on that later. I'm the Olympic change maker! Hey, so I'm out here with Bo, our, um, our resident, just absolute gun on, on uh, the mountain bikes here. And um, yeah, he's got some, got some crazy skills. Fortunately, he won't be able to show it to us here. Just say got a bike. Yeah, I know, we need to get a bike down here. Um, and uh, yeah, basically we just came from pretty deep, uh, deep talk, um, some, some think tanks, and we had some, uh, some juicy meat for lunch. Yeah. Yeah. I have no clue what we're doing now, but no, I'm sure, sure we are going to have a good time. We always have a good time. We always find a way. <laughs> All right. We're here. I'm we're here with Nick, yeah. our camera's most eligible bachelor. <laughs> um, and um, so you got your formal tonight. I Big do. Night ahead. I do. Yep. Um, how are the nerves? Uh, I'm not too nervous. We're going with the boys in the van. <laughs> yeah. The boys. <laughs> yeah, the boys. yeah, it's gonna be a great night. Yeah. And uh, you got a date? You got a date sorted? Uh, no. I, I had a date, but we're not going with her anymore. Oh. Oh. Cut that out. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a heartbreaker. A bit of a heartbreaker. Of course. No, 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 no. Hey, that's, that's, that's too controversial, that's too controversial. <laughs> After lunch, we had some free time, so I took the opportunity to check out the visitor centre, where there was amazing memorabilia and stories about the many people who had graced and represented our great country. And then, it was back to fun with the other change makers. Again, Nearly taken out an Olympian, how does it feel? Oh, feels great. Feels great? I thought they had reflexes there. Yeah, no, nah, that's true, that's true. I was throwing it to her, I thought it was like a catch test. Hey, we got scammed, didn't we? Oh, hey, we did. We did. Like, I'm gonna uh, feel bad, but like I mean, we haven't actually seen their their skills on show yet. So I mean, let's see. They, they, yeah, exactly. Step up your game. Yeah. All right. Big call. Oh damn. Okay. Okay. I just got saved. I just got absolutely saved. Two one go. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right. The crazy thing about being here for this Change Maker Summit is getting the chance to meet some Olympians. So I've got two here with me right now. Um, would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Cedric. I am a decathlete. I went to the Rio Olympics and the Tokyo Olympics and uh, and that's me. Yeah, uh, my name is Rowan Chapman Davies. Uh, I competed at the 2018 Winter Olympic Games in Pyeongchang, South Korea. Just We just asked some hard hitting, some, some serious questions. So, um, who is your celebrity crush? <laughs> oh, you go first. Um, I'll have to think of it. Celebrity crush. Miley Cyrus. Miley yeah. Cyrus. Really? What are you singers here? Well, like Hannah Montana, like. I look. I genuinely don't know who it is right now, but it used to be Emma Watson. Oh, okay. that is, yeah, that's a good choice. That's a good choice. <laughs> I'll work with that one. And then finally, uh, favorite food. Uh, can I say it? Pizza and burgers? Yeah. Is that yeah. okay as an athlete? <laughs> yeah. I love um, Spag Bowl. Like, I think the, that was the meal I had before the games as well. Um, you know, the cooks asked us what the Aussies wanted to eat, and that's what we all said. So it's a, it's a home favourite. <laughs> After talking to Cedric and Rowan, we headed back to the Gold Room, where we heard from Brooke Hansen, the head of the Changemaker movement. Her journey was inspiring, and it inspired us to tell our own stories, which really connected and united us. Go to the camera! Hey. Oh, oh. Three, two, one. Changemakers! You know, while I've got the time now, I really just wanted to, you know, basically share with you basically what's happened throughout this day so far. Obviously, there's a lot of things that I can't record, 
Um, you know, I'd love to be able to document everything that has happened. I love sharing my stories. I love, you know, sharing other people's stories with others. I think it's so important that, you know, we give other people a platform to share their, their stories. Um, you know, we can learn so much from other people. But, you know, obviously being in this environment, it's so important that when people are vulnerable, we, we are acceptive of those people. We, we, you know, we get around these people and, you know, obviously it's a compromising position between, you know, trying to capture these people's stories, but also, but also, you know, respecting their own privacy and, and their own confidentiality. And I hope that, you know, throughout the next few days or throughout tomorrow, really, I'll, I'll get the chance to really dive into those one-on-one -on -one conversations with these people so that, you know, whilst I'm giving you these fun, crazy clips and, you know, I'm seeking to share these people's stories, you're also getting the more personal side, the side that, you know, really isn't shown as much on YouTube and these platforms, you know, we as humans, we go through ups and downs, we go through through periods of struggle, we go through periods of, of triumph. They, they do not exist without each other. They are coexistent. Um, they, they are coexisting and you know, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, you know, this vlog, whilst my name is above it as, you know, as the owner of this YouTube channel, it is about so much more. And it is not just about me. It is about all the crazy people, all the crazy memories, and all the crazy experiences that I have with other people. With some free time before dinner, I headed to the basketball center with KG. And boy, did we get lucky. Hi, so we're here at the... Uh, the Australian Institute of Sport. We're just heading to the basketball center and uh, who have we got, got with us here? My name is Alfred Seth. Mills, uncle of Patty Mills, the youngest brother of his dad. And I look after the venue operations here and look after basketball, soccer fields. And I've been here 15 years. Uh, welcome to the place, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. if you do get here, come see me. Yeah, mm -hmm. listen to the man. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. After talking to Alfred Mills, we headed down the tunnel towards the basketball courts. He gave us a ball so we had to shoot around and having it all to ourselves was something else. Are we shooting some hoops? We are here, um, AIS, at the basketball court. It's a real privilege to be here, especially when you look up and you see your own flag on the wall. Um, gives you a sense of pride, you know. And one of the greats, Paddy Mills. Yes, barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. That was clean. That was clean. That was clean. That was clean. <laughs> say anything inspirational yeah, for say something inspirational, guys. Be what you want to be. Be the change. Power the change. I have better than rugby, Facts. bro. Inspirational. Inspirational. Can we get some commentary on the food? I only drink it for a joke, bro. I never. I haven't had it for like so long. And then I saw it and I was like. Hummels. Right. The human thigh contains about 2,100 <laughs> kilojoules worth of energy. You can survive off one person for about six days. After an incredible barbecue feast, we headed out to play a warped version of King of the Pack. Like seriously, if the ball spills off someone, it's not a mark. And then we headed back to the gold room for the final game of the night. Hardship. 
that the chapter continues, the journey continues, and your book is never done. Yo, second night down, honestly a crazy day. Um, you know, got to know everyone so much better. Um, you know, just engage in those deep conversations, so important. And, you know, said bye to our first change maker, um, Miena, which was a bit sad, but, you know, it's just, this is what happens in life, you know, people, people will come and go through our lives and it's just about holding on to those good people. And, you know, gotta make sure I hold on to these people because they are, they are some legends and that's why they were chosen for this change maker program. Good night. Yo, we out here early morning of day three and far out, mate. It just looks beautiful around here. Like, honestly, you gotta see this. Like, this is just, this is just incredible. I've never seen a soccer pitch this clean before. Honestly, just being here in itself is, is incredible and has been an incredible opportunity. And I'm just beyond blessed to have had the opportunity, the chance to have been here. I mean, I haven't really gone through this whole Olympic change maker process, how I got here, but you know, through school submission and, and through, a, through a submission video, you know, I got here and, you know, it was something that I'd never heard about three or four weeks ago, or three or four months ago, actually. But, you know, now that I'm here, it just feels like, you know, it just feels like the stars are aligning um, and things happen for a reason. Like, there's honestly times in your life when you, when you can find yourself pinching yourself and, and gee whiz, this is one of them. After spending a bit of time at the soccer fields and checking out a few other centres, I headed to the aquatic centre where I met up with a few other change makers, but we had a nice morning swim. And then it was back to the village. We have our finalists. These guys have been working hard for this moment. Woo! Oh! So much training, so much preparation, so much sacrifice. And here they are. Facing off for the first time. You see it here, folks. This is a special moment. Once in a lifetime opportunity. Who will win? Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, guys. Three, two, one, go. 16 to 1. Oh, no, you didn't Oh, no, you didn't say yeah. If he wins this, we're going to win. Yeah! 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 All right, we're here at the Athletes Village. We got, I uh, found two people here. Who have we got here? Uh, Anuj and Ryan. And uh, could you tell us, or could you tell the viewers a little bit about yourselves? Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm Ryan. I'm from Auckland, New Zealand, and I come over here uh, in the under 21 Black Six playing Australia for hockey. Yeah. I'm from Auckland, New Zealand. Um, I'm here not playing, but I'm the head analyst for the men and women under 21 hockey. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you guys for, for coming to talk to me and uh, yeah, now best of luck with your respective careers. After talking to Anuj and Ryan, we headed off to the cold room for the first of our serious activities for the day. Okay. All right, who are you? Who we got I'm here? I'm Daytona. Yeah, and uh, could you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Um, I'm from the far south coast. I'm a group 16 referee. Yeah. You heard it, girl. Let's go. Absolute legend. And uh, and what's your favourite food? My favourite food, rice. rice. I'm Asian, rice. so rice is the staple food. Okay, okay. And celebrity crush? <laughs> celebrity crush. Oh, it's either Michael B. Jordan or Tom Holland. Good choice. Good one. choice. Good choice. Legend. Australian Institute of Sport Visitor Centre and we just bumped into 
two lads here, so who have we got? I'm Caden Crawford, I'm the flyweight champion. I'm Thiramona Thiramona, the heavyweight champion by default. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll just ask you one more question, like a serious question. So, uh, who is your celebrity crush? <laughs> Oh, I don't really have one. Oh, when I was younger, Selena Dennis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. High school musical, that's what I was thinking. Maybe the, um, Ariana Grande? Oh, okay. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what you're saying. Yeah, alright. Good choice, good choice. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Have a good day. Alright, so we're, we're back at the Athletes Village. I'm here with Mia. Mia, can you introduce yourself? I'm Mia, uh, full name Mia Berg, and I do race walking. And yeah, I like running and just, it's amazing, crazy to be here. It's such a good vibe. So, yeah, yeah, nice and awesome vibe. Yeah. Nice. Alright, we're just getting ready for the bus before we head to our presentations. And I've got an absolute legend with me, so do you want to introduce yourself? For sure. I'm I'm Kailu Luffman. I live uh, all the way up in the Torres Strait on Thursday Island. And yeah, um, I am an Olympic change maker, just like you. Do you mind sharing, you know, a little bit of of information, or would you do you want to share, I guess, your sort of Torres Strait Island background with, with the viewers here? So yeah, Torres Strait Island. Um, so there's like archipelagos of islands. So there's different islands. So we have five cluster groups. That's the in islands, uh, the central islands, the western islands, top western and the eastern islands. And um, they all speak different languages, and but, but we're all connected through um, through one blood and one voice. Yeah. I appreciate you for sharing that with, with us, KG. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> all right, as they say, a good event doesn't take place without amazing, amazing people. <laughs> uh, with me are two of these amazing people. Uh, would you care to introduce yourselves? Uh, I'm Josh and I've been a facilitator on this experience, which is like a coach sort of role. Yeah, and I'm Fee and I've also been a facilitator coach, um, helping out the young people, loving it. Yep. Yeah, and uh, what's, a, what's a message that you have for, I guess, young people um, that, you've, that you've really, I don't know, maybe grown within you or like a flame that's lit within you from this experience? Yeah. Uh, for me, uh, off the back of the movie Soul, which uh, I've, done, I've done a bunch of things with, but it's pay attention to what it is that lights you up. Like yeah. That could be anything. It could be, um, you know, you really like uh, putting food dye on clothes and making really fun patterns with, with clothes. <laughs> and like, if that's something that really lights you up and it's something that you really have a lot of time for, uh, or it's a place where you actually, it's a thing that you lose time when you do it. And you're like, oh my God. It's been five hours that I've been doing this thing. I've been having the best time. Just keep going that way because those sort of things are like, because you're passionate about it, someone will eventually recognize your passion for it and employ you to do it or you'll create something and it'll be awesome. Um, yeah, there's just like so much complication around purpose and I think it's like just start with what you already care about and mm. get lit up by and just yeah. go that way. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah my, well, I feel like that was <laughs> hectic deep. Yeah, that right? was, that was um, awesome. To follow on from that, no, I think for me, biggest thing I've learned um, was actually in Brooke's speech that she did, really addressing the young people. And one of the quotes was, um, if you're going to be all in, be all in or be all out. And I think for me, that was just like the permission and accountability just to be like, okay, I'm either choosing this or I'm choosing not to be in this. And yeah. whatever the decision is, that's my decision or whoever's decision it is. And really encourage young people to, yeah, to really have the accountability, have the uh, passion, if, that they're, if they're passionate about something or if they want to do something to really like go all in and not let anything stop them. And I think that's something that Brooke, yeah, over her journey has, mm. really, has really showed. And um, that's something I'll be taking away from this, um, from this experience, but also something I would love young people all across Australia or wherever you guys are yeah. um, to experience as well. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. No problems. <laughs>
a sport to make a difference. Mm -hmm. And a difference isn't just talking about difference, because that's easy. It's actually making a difference. We're now in a period of what we call the 10 year green and gold runway. In fact, it's only been 10 years now, it's nine years, whatever, nine months. But uh, we're in that runway to Brisbane 2032. It is a once in a lifetime opportunity because the way the games are run now and awarded around the world, I don't think we'll see the Olympic Games back in Australia until the, sometime after the end of the 21st century. So this is a fantastic opportunity for people like yourselves to really make a difference as we head towards the uh, Brisbane 2032 games. I think that it's, sport is so important and for me, I just remember being um, a young girl, I, I think it took me like a while to find the thing that I was meant to do. I came from a very sporty family, um, not myself particularly, but my older sister, my younger siblings, everyone seemed to be good at sport and um, until I really found diving I was around a lot of sports and I always knew that I wanted to be good at something and so when I found what that was um, I fell in love not just with diving but the community and, um, and coming from a big family I was always really shy when I was younger so I used to sort of hide behind my siblings a bit at school and things like that, but when I found something that I loved, I, I made friends and I loved that camaraderie and, and having a team and then um, finding something that I was good at just made me want to get better at it. And I had coaching experience in diving, but also on the S and C side as well uh, for young athletes. So I, I really love encouraging them to kind of get outside their comfort zone and do new things, get moving and um, create more little teams for people and um, to be able to learn and grow. After hearing from our guest speakers, we made speeches of our own in regards to making change in the future of the Olympics. And then we had something to eat. Yeah, KG. How are we going? Going good. Yeah. Um, I forgot the place we're actually at, but nah, that's it's a good. pretty remarkable place. Enjoying this croissant. Yeah, no, you're Here with my in. boy. I mean, my boys. Boys. Arm wrestle. They used to have an arm wrestle yet. Come on. We want to uh, see the these guns, man. I'm not talking about it. Nah, nah, nah. You oh, both, got, you both got the gun show <laughs> happening. <laughs> you both got the, the gun show. That, boy. Do the thing. Come on. I'm messing with this big, huge man. Come on. Brother. What are you Come talking on, do about? Do the thing. Put the vlog. Do the thing. So, all the people out there is watching uh, James' uh, um, videos. Yeah. This is to all of your, all your fans. For my nuts. Whoa. Oh, okay. okay. Watch the pecs. Hey, part. sun's out, guns out, right? <laughs> As you can see, it's my office. Yeah. This is where the blood, sweat, and tears happened. Back in the 19th century, I don't know. <laughs> this is where I worked. I'm like 90 something years old, man. Back sore. That's why you put these railings here. Yeah. Nah. Oh, yeah, get, get a pose of that. <laughs> Look at those steps he's taking. Far out of Getting old, you know. Pull him up. Then there's a... Hey, you need to walk oh. in there. Oh. <laughs> Saying goodbye to the I'm legend. I'm leaving now. Nah. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll love following reunion, your journey. Reunion, 10 year reunion. Yeah, 10 year reunion, 10 reunion for sure, for sure. Surely. Make sure to follow her sporting career because there's going to be greatness yeah. coming soon. All right. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> After saying goodbye to Mia, it was time for our change maker presentations. And then it was time to chat to some Olympians. Hi, we're just uh, just finishing up with our Olympic change maker presentations, and I'm with one of the one of Australia's greatest Olympians. So next, could you care to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Mia, and I'm a four-time Olympian. An Olympic silver and bronze medalist in diving. <laughs> <laughs> and do you have any words of advice for young people around Australia? Yeah, definitely. I would say, from my experience, no, just follow your dreams, do what you're passionate about, and work hard, and you'll reap the rewards. <laughs> I'm with another Olympian, the head of the change maker movement right here. Uh, would you care to introduce yourself? I'm Brooke Hansen, Olympic gold and silver medalist, and I am the queen change maker. Yeah, you are, yeah. <laughs> And would you have any words of advice, or do you have any words of advice for young people who are perhaps seeking a career in leadership, um, and yeah, and to seek opportunities in this space? Yeah, definitely, young leaders. We need more of them in this beautiful country. So I want to inspire everyone who may have doubted themselves or don't see themselves as a leader. Leaders 
can lead in so many different ways and it's about just taking that opportunity daily to be your best self and then decide that you want to be the change within your community, within your school and, and the way to do that is just to get involved. Get involved, have a go and show empathy to others and, and really connect with those that maybe not in your close circle, but connect with those in the community that may be doing it tough or people that you don't usually hang with. So I think that's the best way about starting to be a leader. And then of course, getting involved with, with sport is the number one thing of, of really working out what sort of leader you want to be. And the important thing there is bringing people together and recognising that we're all different. But if we can come together, we're going to be stronger. And I think that's what leadership's all about. Empowering the change is about being a leader, an everyday leader. And that comes from inspiring those around you and being your best self. Thank you so much. And finally, we finish off with this one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm here with one of, if not the most inspirational change maker here. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, with Chai. So would you care to Hi. introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Chai. I'm from Queensland and I'm a 2022 change maker. And would you care to fill the awesome viewers in? <laughs> and would you care to fill the viewers in with, with a bit about what you do? Um, in your athletic career? Yeah, yeah, so I do athletics. I recently went to World Juniors this year, came sixth in the 4x4 relay and ninth in the mixed 4x4 relay. I love running and I love putting myself in the community and involving myself in any way that I can. And finally, we'll ask a serious question mm -hmm. to close off. Who is your celebrity crush? Oh, my Really want to know my celebrity crush? Yeah, go for it, go for it. Oh, okay, that's a spicy one. Hey, I don't know if I'll share with the viewers because okay, you know, I'll tell respect. Them. Oh, I'll okay, tell them. okay. I'll tell them. My celebrity crush, crush, Sasha Zoya. He's a he's in France now, but used to be from Perth. Mm -hmm. He's my celebrity crush. All right, quality, <laughs> and uh, can't wait to follow your career. Thank you so much. And, uh, Lovely to meet you. One to watch, absolute, absolute star in the future, absolute Thanks. star of the future. Yeah. See you guys. So, let's go. <laughs> After talking to Melissa, Brooke and Chai, we headed off from the Mint and back to the IAS, where we got changed for a final evening out. And then we geared up for a very, very intense soccer match. All right, I'm here with Lauren. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on this soccer game here? Soccer games, it seems maybe slightly aggressive, a bit competitive, a lot of leaders out there. And yeah. I think, uh, ooh, oh, 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 oh. What was that? I feel like something might nah, break. Nah, but he, he's like a professional, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, he's like he's like Ronaldo level. Yeah, yeah, we've got yeah. some Ronaldos. We've got Messi right here. Yeah. All right, all right, all right no, we can't turn it around. We're going to do it again. Do it again. Tech skills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what are we looking forward to in the in the last sort of oh in the sort last moments yeah the last moments look I'm just looking forward to being together and I feel like just our last moments really need to be like us talking us together us and the like D and M's that's mm. what I'm feeling mm. yeah. I'm loving the energy here yeah I am loving like you like the too. vibe you like the, I'm like, the vibe yeah you bring all the vibes all the energy yeah thanks yeah. thanks I'm like hyped after my Shark Tank like pitch like felt good feeling good let's go and yeah. KG's just staring at us you know the you know the girls oh yeah. <clears throat> you're not my wife when I marry you, you're my wife when I find you. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 okay. That's some words of wisdom, bro. Bombs have been bro. dropped. Oh, yes, oh, 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 oh. Hi, guys. Welcome to my fit check. No, I hate when this is. I'm wearing... Uh, dish, dish fashions, uh, I could Nike, Nike and Poppy and uh, whatever this is. Thank you. <laughs> and after hearing from Chai and having something to eat, the party started. Oh, yeah. Alright, here we go. Oh, he's got it. Oh. 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 Anybody want to say something? Oh. Oh. Get an ice cream! If no one's wearing that. If no, enjoy the night vibes, right? If, no one, night if vibes. no one ever told you this today or tonight, I want to be the first to say you're the man. Oh. Hey, I love you, KG. Hey. <laughs> aesthetic, though. Oh. 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 
The last night here in Canberra has honestly been the most incredible experience, the most enlightening experience, the most inspiring experience. I mean, they say that Rome was built in a day, but the love and respect that I have for these people, it honestly feels like, you know, it feels like I've spent a year, it feels like I've spent years, bloody, bloody centuries with these people. And with that, it was lights out for the final time. After playing table tennis with some of the other change makers who woke up early and grabbing something to eat, it was time to head off. I was part of the second batch of change makers to leave the village on the final day. And it was crazy. Simply beyond disbelief, our people I just met and spent three days with had become so, so close with. This made editing the whole journey a difficult process. I wanted to make sure I was not just giving the experience justice, but showing it in a manner which was respectful of all the amazing people involved, particularly my fellow change makers. It was only when I was sitting on the plane by myself after saying my final goodbyes that I realized I wasn't just leaving behind friends, I was leaving behind family. Wearing this clothing, calling myself an Olympic change maker is never something I thought I'd be doing, but here I am. And I guess my message for you is that nothing is beyond reach. Everything is possible. Nothing is impossible. This opportunity, this experience would not have been possible if I stayed within my comfort zone, if I didn't allow myself to, to test the boundaries of what I could achieve. So I guess what I'm telling you is that do not be one of those people who lives your life with regret because you stay inside your comfort zone, you stay within your safe bubble and you don't test and push yourself. This experience was a byproduct of me putting myself out there, me testing myself and me bringing the best out of other people because I was being the best version of myself. I hope you have a safe and prosperous start to 2023 and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon.